since we're back in lockdown in the UK, my book buying habits have gotten a bit out of control. But before everyone shouts at me for spending unnecessary money on books, I would just like to say I think I have a valid excuse. When I moved down to university, I obviously brought all my unread books with me and there's a massive water stains and there's loads of independent bookshops. So down there I have quite the collection of books. But when we came up for Christmas, obviously I didn't know we'd go back into lockdown. So I didn't bring any of my books with me and all these books on my bookshelves I've already read. So I needed more books to read whilst in lockdown. So this was the result. Oops. My first two books have a theme. That theme is Tom Holland. <laughs> the first book that I have is Cherry by Nico Walker. The Russo brothers have adapted this book into a film which is coming out in March. I believe it's March 13th? Don't quote me on that. It's in the middle of March sometime. It's coming out. It's got Tom Holland in and I'm really excited for it. And when I saw that it was based on a book, I was like, well, gotta read that book now, haven't I? The trailer looks insane and I'm already obsessed. I can't even tell you how many times I've watched the trailer for this film and it has really intrigued me. Tom better get his suit ready because the Oscars are waiting for him. <laughs> so enough about Tom. The book. This book is based around an unnamed narrator. I don't believe we learn his name. I did think that his name was Cherry. I don't think we ever learn his name. Anyway, it is based around a young man. He is a freshman in college when he meets the love of his life, Emily. But unfortunately, she has to move back to New York, which results in the main character joining the army, which he has a very tough time. When he comes home from the army he turns to heroin and other class A drugs to help him cope with his PTSD. Now he can't find a job due to this addiction so he ends up robbing banks to fuel his addiction to buy more drugs. So a bit of light reading. I would say that there are a lot of trigger warnings in this so keep this in mind if you are looking to pick it up because I believe the film is an 18 so the book is obviously going to have some trigger warnings. The next book that I have is already a Netflix film and it is The Devil All The Time by Donald Ray Pollock. This film, I'm just going to talk about the film first, is outstanding. I honestly urge everyone to watch this film. Just don't watch it, please. It's on Netflix. Just watch it now. After you've watched this video, go watch it. This book follows a bunch of characters. There's multiple storylines within it and they sort of relate to each other, but it doesn't end up in like one loop, if you get what I mean. It is set from the end of the World War II to the 1960s in Southern Ohio and Western Virginia. The characters include a war veteran who is deeply disturbed by the horrors that he saw in the war, his son who is looking for revenge, a husband and wife, a pair of serial killers and a false preacher. Delusions! Blaspheme in the law in your mind and in your heart. The next book that I have is Wild Girls by Rory Power. This is said to be a feminist version of Lord of the Flies and is set in a remote boarding school. The story is based around three best friends who are currently living in quarantine it, on an island boarding school thanks to this illness going around called the tox. This illness has killed most of the teachers and the majority of the students suffer from different stages of the illness. Whilst trying to survive the illness, one of the three best friends goes missing and the main character Hetty has to go and find her best friend all whilst trying to dodge this illness that is killing people rapidly. This story 
might not be the best thing to read whilst in quarantine myself but I also believe this has a representation of the LGBTQ community which is exciting always love to read about that so yeah I'm very excited to read this although not sure I will read it whilst in lockdown but the story sounds very good the next book is actually a book that I saw on TikTok um, of all places and it is called Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker this is a psychological thriller and it is the story of two sisters who go missing and then three years later one of the sisters appears and insists that everyone has to go looking for her sister I think this will be my next read and I am so excited for it because it just sounds so good. I'm really into thrillers and murder mysteries at the moment. I think they're like my top genres. So if anyone has any recommendations, please leave them down below because I'm always looking for new books. The next book is a book that I have already read and it is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now I must say, I think I prefer I don't know if it's the hardcover or the American version of the cover, but there's a cover, I'll put it on screen, and it is so pretty, but then this is the cover for the paperback slash UK version. I'm not sure if it's different in America, but yeah, on to the actual book. This is the story of a what is she 18 year old girl called avery and she struggles in life when it comes to money she's living with her sister and her sister's abusive boyfriend when one day she is pulled into the principal's office by none other than grayson hawthorne she learns that she has inherited a billionaire not even a billionaire something much bigger than a billionaire well for after he has died and she has no idea who the man is the man is called Tobias Hawthorne but she has no relation to him at all she had never even heard of the man before until the day she learned that she inherited all his money this book highly reminded me of Knives Out but anyway Tobias Hawthorne loves games and riddles and he's loved them all his life his family know this and his four grandsons Grayson, Jameson, Grayson, Jameson, Alexander and Nash all want the money obviously because it was in line to be given to them but no this random girl who they've never even heard of before inherited the money and it's just a game of riddles and just it is so much fun i really enjoyed this book and also the ending oh my god the ending to this book i won't go into it too much because i will do a video on the wrap up of this month but oh my god I need book two now. <laughs> the next book that I have is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This book has been recommended to me so many times I can't even count because I swear everyone and their grandma has read this book apart from me. So I think it's time that I do. It's quite short so I should fly through it. The next book that I have is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is a Alice in Wonderland retelling and it is from the Queen of Hearts point of view before she became the Queen of Hearts. Catherine is one of the most desired girls in Wonderland and is set to marry the King of Hearts but her interests lie somewhere else with her best friend who is a baker and she wants to set up a bakery with them but according to her mother this goal is just not right for a young lady especially a young lady who is set to be the Queen. So I'm very excited to read this. Alice in Wonderland is one of my favourite stories of all time and this intrigued me a lot. I love retellings of classic stories and I've heard a lot 
of great things about this so I cannot wait to read it. The next book that I have is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Again, this is a book that I've wanted to read for so long, ever since I started watching booktube I remember people talking about this so I think it's quite an old book. When did it get released? Oh okay, it's not that old. 2017. I don't know why I thought it was old. This story is about Evelyn Hugo who is a recluse Hollywood star who has hired the unknown magazine reporter Monique Grant to report on her scandalous and exciting life as a Hollywood star. I am so excited to read this book. I don't think anyone understands it enticed me as soon as I heard the plot for it and anything that includes 1950s Hollywood and just oh I am I cannot wait to read this honestly I think this I know I say this about all the books but I think this is the one I'm most excited to read the next book is probably one of the most anticipated books of 2020 and I will literally see everyone read this book. I didn't actually buy this book, I got it for Christmas and it is The Invisible Life of A.D. Lurie by V.E. Schwab. I just nearly hit myself in the face. I don't think I have seen a book this hyped in such a long time and I'm not gonna lie I am quite excited to read it also the cover is absolutely stunning this book it follows the character A.D. LaRue who has made a deal with the devil to become immortal however this wish has come with a price because everyone she knows will just forget about her when the day ends however one day a bookshop owner recognizes ad and her whole life is just thrown into oblivion because no one has ever obviously remembered ad before so something has definitely gone wrong and to say i'm excited to read this book is understatement I, I just can't wait. Lastly is actually a book on my Kindle because this was a book that I had bought when I was at uni but I've wanted to read it again because I am obsessed with the series. I can't really go into much detail because it is the fourth and final book of the series but it is The King of Crows by Libba Bray. Like I said this book is the fourth and final book in the Diviner series and I'm not gonna lie to you I think the Diviner series is my new favourite series of all time. I've always said Chaos Walking was but the Diviners has literally taken over my life recently. It's all I can think about. I've read the series in the span of about a month and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I finish it. And if anything happens to Sam Lloyd, I am going to die because I love him. I'm not even joking. I would die for Sam Lloyd, he's not even real, but I would die for him. <laughs> I hope you have all enjoyed this little, little book haul. Uh, I have enjoyed filming it and I'm excited to read all my new books. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and if you're not already, press the little, the little subscribe button, it's free easy to do why don't you do it i hope you will have a wonderful day and i will see you all very soon bye